All right, grilling with the good dogs. What do we have going on today? Got some tuna. Now I'm drawing most of this directly from a recipe I found online, so I'll hopefully remember to post, post that in the link on YouTube. Uh, if I don't, I apologize. I am making a few changes, but definitely not enough to say it's my own version of this. So what are we gonna do? We're, this, the tuna is just getting straight cooked like it's ahi tuna, but we're gonna put a wasabi honey glaze on top of it, and that should be delicious. First thing that you're gonna do, you have two and a half teaspoons of wasabi, two teaspoons of light soy sauce. You're gonna mix them together in a small skillet, no heat, no heat right now. Let me get that ready for you on grilling with the good. Okay, that's the two and a half teaspoons of wasabi and two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce. Grilling with the good dogs. Next, we're gonna put it on a low heat and add a tablespoon of unsalted butter. Throw that in there. We're gonna whisk it around. Once it's all thoroughly mixed in, we'll add in the one teaspoon of honey. So we're gonna get all that mixed up. I'll put that on the grill. I mean, I'll put that on the oven here in a minute and let you see the butter go in, what it looks like, and then I'll mix in the honey. Um, once, we, once everything is nice and homogenized, we're gonna set it aside and that's when we're gonna work on the tuna. We want this to get to a room temperature once it's all uniform though. Grilling with- I got two big things of tuna cause I'm gonna set these up for meals the rest of the week. I got my big cast iron skillet here. I'm gonna get that up pretty high heat cause you're just gonna be searing that. It's gonna be like regular ahi tuna. Now I put these away having a coat of olive oil on them. Uh, you want really a more neutral oil. I'm just gonna stick with olive oil because it's already on there from whenever I clean them. We're just gonna go with that. I think grapeseed oil is good, but honestly, I'm gonna be fine with the uh, virgin olive oil. So once it gets hotter, I might add some more. But for now, that glaze you see is just how I put them up when I'm done using them. So moving on to this, we got a very low heat going. And I'm gonna wait for it to get a little more liquidy before I start mixing it around and putting in that butter. Let's put this butter in there. That's gonna take a second. Again, I got it on very low heat. I don't wanna burn anything. You can see it's starting to melt pretty good. So I'm gonna start mixing that up. I'll let you see what it looks like before the honey gets on there. Okay? Grilling with the good dogs. I think this is gonna taste great. Um, usually for tuna, ahi tuna, something like that, I just want it on some rice. A little bit of wasabi added to it. This is gonna have the wasabi already. I'm gonna put it on a salad and see how that goes. But yeah, rice salad, something light. Always good at something light. There's the honey going in. Put that mix together. That's starting to smoke up so I have the vent on. You want it really hot because you just want to cook the very outside. Vent tuna right there. We'll get ready to mix that up and we're gonna set that. I'll let you see it when you get it set back aside. I'm gonna be cutting the tuna probably about three pieces lengthwise, maybe just half down this one. And then when you serve it, you can cut it up nice and fine. I think in the uh, recipe I'm following, it has one by one inch chunks. And it wants you to grill them as such. And like, that's so much work. Just cut it in a strip, grill the four sides, take it off and then cut it up. That's just me. Work smarter, not harder. All right, so I think this is it. Not as liquid as I liked. We'll see what happens when it cools down. I just turned off the heat. I'm about to pull it off the oven. See what's going on with it. Maybe it got too hot. I don't know. We'll see. And I'll get these things cut up and ready to go on the skillet. Okay. The uh, first batch of the glaze is not coming out like I'd like. So I'm going to try it my way. I'm going to heat up some butter, add the wasabi, add the soy, and then add some honey to that and let that mix. I'll show you what the other one came out as. I think it got so hot that the sugar from the honey coagulated everything. Can't really tell, but I'm gonna try it this way. We can compare the two. This is just about ready to go. This is not gonna take as long to cool down. So I'm gonna get these ready to go on there, get this heated up, mix everything up with it. We'll see how it all comes out. And we'll give you a comparison at the end. I think my version is going to work much better. All right, I got my other sauce working pretty good. So I'm happy with it. I'll show you what I did. It's not hard. 
Again, the other one I don't think is hard, but if you can screw it up that easy, then I much prefer my method. So what you're gonna do is if you see that there, you're starting to turn white. You just want that on all four sides of your long pieces. It's not gonna take too long. You don't wanna burn them. That's getting pretty good right there. I'd say you want a little more than an eighth of an inch of that white kind of right there. Like 200 thousandths if you're using a micrometer. <laughs> Yeah, work with that. I'll let you see it when it's done, when I serve everything up. Grilling with the good dough. Just about ready to take out. You can see, I mean, it's getting a perfect uh, for what was seen in this um, recipe I was following. You just want that red core right there. You're getting that all over the place. So it's looking good. A few more seconds like that, and uh, I'm going to serve it. I got some sesame seeds, toasted sesame seeds. I'm going to put over it once it's glazed. I'm going to probably have one or two of these spears uh, diced up into nice little quarter inch slices on a salad here in a minute. Again, rice would be just as good. Nice light meal, can't go wrong with it. And I don't think the olive oil is gonna hurt anything. It may just not be authentic to Japanese cuisine. A few more seconds like this and I'll show you what it's looking like when you're serving it up. Grilling with the good dog. Show them that logo. We will not be defeated by bad instructions for other people's recipes. So there's the tuna. And there's Chef Kleinberg running away. I think these came out great. I had a little chunk of it just now. It tasted fantastic. Texture is perfect. This is the oven, the stovetop version. It coagulated and like separated for some reason. I don't know why. This is the version that I did. I think it looks great for what you'd want. All I did was heat up the butter in this bowl in the microwave, added the soy, added the wasabi when the butter was a liquid. And then the last thing was add the honey to it. It came out just fine. I think, I think this is supposed to look like that, not this is supposed to look like that. So I'm gonna run with this. I'm just gonna drizzle it on top of each one of these. And in the recipe I followed, if you were serving it, you would just cut these into one inch cubes. I'm gonna cut them into a little finer once they go on my salad. But let me get these all drizzled, all sparkling nice. Got some sesame seeds on it. It's gonna be great. Grilling with the good dogs. Now this is what I think it's everything is supposed to look like. Nice and good. The drizzle is on there. It smells fantastic, like a sweet wasabi almost. I'm gonna start cutting these up here in a minute. Let you see what it looks like on the salad. Try a few pieces. I wish you could try a few pieces because I think it's gonna be fantastic. We'll get that ready. I think it came out great. This was very easy. That's why I liked it. But again, I was just doing it my way over the you heck you don't even have, you don't that way you won't use two skillets to do this yeah, just <laughs> confused of why it came out so poorly and why that version would be advocated to anyone all right let's get this thing served up i'll try taste test it for you grilling with the good dogs so that's it right there and it looks perfect that's one thing i love about tuna you can tell when you got it good i'm gonna try one of these little pieces here. Mm. I love wasabi. So I think this is right on the money. I know some people may not. Just enough to kill the nostrils. Alright. I'm going to dig into these. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you try it out. Grilling with the good dogs. I put the logos up already. Y'all have fun with this one. Hey guys, it's me, the Fat Dad. Just want to let y'all know, I hope y'all are enjoying the videos here on YouTube. But if you want to see more, uh, we actually have a Snapchat where you'll see a lot more of the uncut stuff. The final product is what end up on YouTube, but a lot of bloopers, mistakes, and experiments happen on Snapchat, so check us out there. You can find that on our Instagram page, where if you follow our Instagram, you'll see uh, candid pictures of the dogs, uh, throwback pictures, and a little bit about each one of the recipes that we put up here on YouTube. So give that a try. That's Grilling with the Good Dogs on Instagram. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching the videos.